Air Tiger tonight. <laughs> it's about the best way I can put it. Yeah, I mean, we, we just kind of took take what they can give you a little bit, and um, we, we felt like we could get the ball to some of our dudes tonight, and it worked out. Carter had a really, really good night on those numbers, but I felt like he had a really good night. My unofficial stats right now, I'm going to go back and look, 486. That's yeah, pretty impressive. So um, I'm, I would be that would probably put him up, up pretty high in the record books. How many touchdowns? Six. Yeah, I'd say that's probably worth looking up. What a good night for him. He needed that. He's worked really hard the last two weeks, and you know after the Rockhurst game, he he felt a lot of that, felt a lot of weight of that game on his shoulders after four four interceptions, and has worked diligently the last few weeks to improve. And, and I'm proud for him. Yeah, and it was from the outset the first offensive play, 75 yards touchdown pass. Uh, was this a case where, you know, I know Bentonville football has always been balanced offense, run pass, but what point it, tonight was the same, you know, hey, forget it, we got to go just chunk it. Yeah, we just felt like if we can if we can get them open and protect a little bit, we got guys that can operate, we got, got really good receivers and a quarterback who can distribute the ball, so, um, you know, that's what we went with. I, I don't know that our plan coming in was to have our quarterback throw for almost 500 yards, but I'm I'm glad it happened, and, and you know we got we got talented skill players. Okay, I have to ask, how's the arm right now? <laughs> That's good. That's good. All that throwing and all. So, uh, but did you ever expect having a game like this? No, I did not. No, they just they were catching the ball and make it do a miss, and look what happens. And and it was from the start. Yeah. Yeah. First play, 75 yard touchdown pass. Yeah. And. Uh, how comfortable was it? Well, uh, when the first pass of the game is a 75-yarder, it, it it sets you in pretty nice for the rest of the game, yes, sir, for sure. And then you just kept throwing it, kept throwing it. Uh, ran a few times, but, you know, the protection had to be great. Protection was great. They did really good holding up that D-line, which was supposed to be pretty good. And then you get playmakers the ball, and look what happens. Yeah. And I know in this case, and I asked Coach Grant about this, you know, Bentonville has always prided itself balance offense, run, pass. What starts running through your mind when you're seeing pass after pass after oh, pass? Oh, that's just kind of – it's kind of – we got some dudes out there. We got to get them the ball, you know. Got to find a way to move it a different way. Sustain enough to – they're a good football team. They are really a good football team. Uh, quarterback, to me, is really good. I told him after the game, he was a heck, he's a heck of a football player. Uh, he makes plays with his arm. He makes plays with his feet. I'm sure he's a really bright kid. He runs their offense. Um, I was really impressed with, with, uh, with uh, yeah. Nye, Carter Knight. Uh, yeah. Usually – Very impressed yeah. by him. Yeah, usually uh, Bentonville is such a balanced offense, but, man, they come out yeah. firing from the well, get-go. I mean, you got a kid like him that, that can really throw it and, uh, and and makes plays with his feet, gets out of the pocket, scrambles. I mean, we couldn't contain him. And, and uh, then you got, you know, the receiving core that they have, especially, you know, led by Brown. And, and so it's just um, – it's something that is tough. You know, it really is. And right now we – you know, to be honest with you, we don't have the personnel defensively right now to to probably match up with them. But I thought our kids fought extremely hard. That's the only one, number one thing I wanted to see us do against this offense was give ourselves a chance uh, and not give up the home run balls. And, and uh, you know, we we have to play them one on one sometimes. We got to stop the run. So um, you know, it makes it, it their offense is extremely hard to um, to defend. And so. Uh, I think I think you're a really good football team. And I want you to talk a little bit about your offense. Uh, at well, times yeah. tonight, you really move the ball well. Yeah, and uh, if we don't shoot ourselves in the foot and we hit receivers that are open, we got a chance to maybe be right there with them. And so that's what we've got to get better at, is we've got to get better at staying consistent and staying on the field and finishing drives. And so those are things that we have to get better. And because uh, – you know, against them, it, I knew it was going to be a shootout. I figured it was probably the first first to fifty, and it and it was. So um, you know, that's just that's the way it is. But um, yeah, I mean, our offense. I can't say enough about our our guys up front, our our two running backs, uh, our receivers came up with some some nice plays tonight. And so um, you know, we made plays offensively. We just didn't 
it's hard to make enough of them. Uh, and um, and then we gotta we gotta do some things better, uh, just getting the ball where it's supposed to go, or or uh, seeing blocking schemes and being able to hit things up inside. We had some big runs that we didn't make that were there. Uh, so anyway, we we just uh, we gotta keep getting better. We got a heck of a, a challenge next week with it. I mean, they've scored on everybody. So, uh, you know, it's going to be another, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to score on them. Their defense is really good. They can run. They're active up front. Uh, I, I've watched them just a little bit already, and, and um, they're a good defense. And, and offensively, they kind of go without saying.